Hey guys, it's me, Bren, and in today's video, I am answering a quick question somebody submitted to me on my website about the Arrow Garden right back here. There she is, my Arrow Garden. I really, really, really loved learning about hydroponics with this thing. And uh, I still have it going, even though it's primo garden outside and garden in the dome time for me here in Northwest Ohio. My little light's flash in there. In fact, I need to add a little water, which I'll do after this video. So my question uh, that came to me on my uh, blog was about putting the caps on the little seedlings. I highly recommend that. If you did not get caps with your unit, with your unit or you lost your cap. So there are these little containers you can get in the like plasticware aisle and container aisle, cup aisle, Dixie cups, all that kind of thing. These are little sauce containers and they come with lids on them. Um, some people may use these for jello shots and things like that. Uh, but these also work great without the lid as a dome. You can put it just right on top of your little seedling. I do recommend that, especially when the plant is little. In fact, on uh, a couple of these, I actually used the bigger dome on top of it, and it seemed to help a lot because um, it helps hold in the humidity and the warmth to the plant to, to encourage it to grow, and I really think that does help the root systems uh, very well. These were all uh, used with the cap on, so that's what you can do if you lost your cap. That's what I do. I love starting seeds in these. In fact, uh, most of these little plants, the plants here are actually going to end up going out into my garden, into a raised bed garden area, um, because I am almost to my last frost day here in Ohio. Something else I wanted to point out, if you end up getting really into doing your own arrow garden planting, you can actually buy a replacement. Um, the little, um, these little pods, little holders, and you can actually buy the pod. What I wanted to point out, as you can tell, look, I've got green, I've got algae growing on this uh, part of the setup which um, I don't really recommend that. It won't kill the plant, but eventually it could. And you just really want to get that cleaned up. Uh, a friend of mine actually pointed out that if you have these stickers that come on these Arrow Garden uh, pod seed starters, that if you keep that on, it actually prevents the algae from growing. So let's go ahead and get in here and lift it and show you. Look at that. I don't know if you can see down in there. Hope you can see down in there. It really does help prevent the algae from growing because basically what you're doing is you are uh, providing shade for that area. So the algae cannot grow unless it's getting the light uh, that hits it. So algae needs light and heat and all that good stuff to grow. And if you have that sticker on it, it actually prevents. Now the cap will not help it. So just a little note there. I, the thing I love most about the Aero Garden is it, did, it is a really cool product that allows people to grow edibles, uh, specifically herbs and things like that, on their kitchen top, clean for the most part. It's a little bit of maintenance. Uh, it's not like you can just pop the seed, the little pods in there and leave them be. You do have to kind of maintain it. Um, for me personally, I love using the hydroponics indoors especially during the winter season. It was so nice to have that light back there just lighting up the kitchen uh, throughout the winter time and to be able to tinker in those herbs right here on the countertop and pick a few and put them in something I was cooking. So I do highly recommend this product. Um, thanks so much for checking out my video and of course asking questions about this for my personal experience and advice. You can find this and other creative living ideas on my website at brenhaas.com. I hope to see you there.